Hello, today we're taking a quick tour of Memento Photo Album 5.2. Upon starting the program, you're presented with five project options. Cards, posters, proof book, wedding album, and travel book. We'll concentrate on the wedding album for this overview. We'll begin by initiating a project titled Jack and Sarah. After creating the project, we're taken to the album printing settings. I'll select a double 8x8 book with a cover. Alternatively, you can choose a printing partner from the provided list or customize your book page and cover settings, including margins, safety lines, bleed, and more. Once you finish setting up your book, click on the Photo tab. In the software's left section, browse your computer's drives. Choose the folder you wish to add photos from. Sort the photos by time, file name, or rating as per your preference. Add photos to the pool by clicking the plus icon or select Select All to add all photos at once. Repeat this for all desired photos. Once done, proceed to the Editor tab. Memento Photo Album is designed to accommodate different photographers' workflows. Whether you want a quick book setup, like the one I'm demonstrating now, with a detailed tutorial to follow, or you choose to craft everything by hand, the software is equipped to meet your needs. This is the outcome of using the new Adaptive Book Wizard, offering a fast way to begin your album. Now let's clear all the pages and explore alternative methods for creating pages. To access Timeline Mode, click on the eye icon. Your photos will display in chronological order. Click on the plus icon where you want to start a new page, using the previous photo in the timeline. In just seconds, you can begin crafting the wedding story. Let's clear those pages and look at a different page creation method. Simply select an image and drag it onto a page. You can also select several images and drop them onto new pages. If desired, click the icon at the top of the page to randomize the layout. Additionally, you can drag and drop an image into a specific spot on the page directly from the book overview. We'll manually add a page and then move into the page editor to discover additional features. Notice the random layout icon from the book editor is also here. You can adjust the spacing between frames for the right visual alignment. Now, let's drag and drop three photos onto the right page to see our options. If you're using multiple monitors, you can open the grid view on another screen to easily pick a layout. The software offers precise tools for manual adjustments. For instance, holding the Shift key lets you snap to the predefined spacing. Using the Z key while adjusting a frame activates the magnetic tool, which resizes multiple frames proportionally. You also have the flexibility to swap images, zoom in and out, and pan within a frame, among other things. Take note of the red face marker on the top right corner of the image frame. Memento Photo Album supports face detection natively and alerts you when faces are obscured. You have the option to turn face detection on or off as needed. You can enhance your images by adding borders, adjusting their size, changing colors, and altering shapes. For more customization, apply a mask from our extensive collection or import your own. The software also includes standard effects, and quick image tuning options such as temperature, tint, saturation, exposure, and more. You can apply a style to your page or the entire book if you wish. For instance, you could select a black and white style. Additionally, you have the option to create and apply your own custom style. Let's start a new page and set an image as the background. Next, we'll add a gradient for visual interest. Then, we'll insert some text changing it to Sarah and Jack. We'll choose an attractive font and increase the size. We can also adjust the letter spacing, line spacing, and apply styles like italic or skew. Finally, let's place a decorative element behind the text to add character to our page. The Review tab helps you identify any issues with your pages or send proofs to your clients. The Finalize tab allows you to export in JPG, PSD, and PDF for licensed users. Subscription holders can also create a web album and a cloud-based slideshow for customers. Remember, with Memento Pro, it's free to try. You only pay if you're satisfied with the result.